Hi there, are you struggling to replace backgrounds on transparent objects without ruining edges? In this tutorial, I will reveal the easiest method to swap backgrounds like a pro. No halos, no mass, just perfect results every time. Let's get started. You can see here is the wine glass. I have to select the wine glass. So I will take from here pen tool. You can take any other tool to select the wine glass. I will take pen tool for the perfect selection. Now click on here and drag it. Now hold on alter key to, to perfect adjust the anchor point. Now click again here and now drag it under and hold down alter key again and drag it and now again do this continuously now if you find this any, anything wrong you have to go back by press ctrl z from your keyboard now again click here now hold down alter key and adjust the anchor point now click here now click here and drag it again click here and drag it now click here okay now click here again click here and do this continuously hold down alter key and drag it click here and hold down alter key and drag it now do this one more time and click here drag it okay now hold on alter key and adjust the anchor point now click here okay this is perfect and click here and hold on alter key to make the perfect anchor point okay click here have a look here is the problem of the anchor point uh, selection now go back ctrl z and click here again and drag it okay now click on the last anchor point and you can press ctrl enter to select the subject i will right click on the object and click on the make selection now feather i will keep the feather one you can increase the feather now press ok Click on the background layer and press Ctrl J from your keyboard to make a copy of the layer. I will press Ctrl J second time to make a duplicate one more. Okay. Now rename the layers to organize layers. Now keep the name glass one and go to the top layer and double click on the layer and keep the name glass two. Now uncheck the top layer glass two and click on the background and go to the file and select place embedded now i will select the background now double click on the background and i have to adjust the background layer or background image okay i think this is the perfect now go to the filter and uh sorry blur and then choose gaussian blur Keep the radius as your requirements or as your um, image. Okay. Now radius I am keeping here. Uh, 27 is the best. Okay. Now click on the OK. Now select the class 1 layer and hold down control and click on the image on the layer. Now have a look here is the selected subject. Now click on the mask okay now again click on the image and hold down ctrl key from your keyboard now it is selected now go to the edit and click on the copy you can press ctrl c from your keyboard now hold down alter key and click on the mask and click on the edit and paste have a look here is the images uh, <clears throat> now go to the image and adjustment select levels 
now this point is the black and this point is the white if if white side is drag it right to left you will find out there is the glass is making white and visibility so this is the transparent object so i need to decrease the white portion so increase the black point i think this is the perfect now click on the ok now click here ok press ctrl d from your keyboard to deselect the subject also you can go to the image and uh, sorry you go to the select and click on the deselect ok click on the check mark and now i need to select the wine so you can choose from here any selection tool i will get from here quick selection tool so select the wine only keep in mind i will select only wine okay okay wine i think this is the perfect now press ctrl j from your keyboard to make it duplicate of the wine now rename the layer one keep the name wine and again uncheck the wine and click on the glass 2 now hold down ctrl key and click on the glass image and hold down alter key and click on the mask have a look here is the edges now select the mask and go to the filter and select from here other and click on the maximum you can decrease or increase the maximum radius if i increase the radius you will find out here the previous images so i will decrease the radius you can keep it one or two i think this is the one and it is perfect for me and with this image and click ok now click on the wine and check ok we need to group the layers so hold down shift key and click on the wine and click on the background to select all layers now press ctrl g from your keyboard to make a group of the layers okay now uncheck the group now click on the background and take from here rectangular marquee tool this is the perfect now click on the group one and check here now hold down alter key and click on the mask and there you go now let's see change the background go to the file and click on the plus and choose from here background this is the perfect and enter or click on the check mark now go to the filter and blur and then choose gaussian blur now increase or decrease the radius i think decrease need to decrease the radius okay this is the perfect maybe okay now click on the okay now here is the result now you can change any backgrounds with this subject i hope you will enjoy this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you find this video helpful and feel free to share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below thanks for watching